Hello for love everybody, my name is Mario, you probably know me from shows such as Fresh and Polyfist and Beyonce's PA But I'm on a break from that today, I'm here in Samoa Everything you're gonna see in this video I'm experiencing for the first time in a long time Once upon a time, but I'm here to give you guys some travel tips around Samoa Don't judge me, let's go have some fun now there is so much to check out in Samoa, but don't get it twisted, I'm no travel fanatic of Samoa, I'm just that guy showing you the cool spots to check out according to the locals. Before we do that, here's a few things you might need to survive the island. Alright coconuts, before you start your travels, you need to pack your sack. <laughs> it's really heck of vela in Samoa, so these are the appropriate shoes for the islands, unless you're gangs like me and rock your vans. This blue bottle is insect repellent. This is very important because Samoa have those zombie World War Z resident evil mosquitoes. Bit of poor poor ointment for the dry lips, or poor poor on your cuts and wounds. The good old lava lava. Perfect not only to wear, but you can shelter yourself from the sun, or cover your legs from those damn mozzies. Oh, don't need that anymore, eh? Oh yeah, a must. A solo offs for the sweat. All over the party. The fan. Yes, I have many fans. You can use it as a shelter, use it as a fan, or you can use it to wave the taxi driver down. Hey, tale master. <coughs> Very important. Avoid dehydration and get a water bottle. Or in Samoa, a fanguvai. Tap water in Samoa is a bit risque, so stock up hard. A very important part of your kit. Toilet paper, in case you're in the guar backs and need an emergency stop for those number twos, threes and fours. And lastly, for those stray fafa fingers, I mean dogs, you need one of these. Hold upright and shout hello, H A L U, hello. Or if that doesn't work, gap it. And so our first stop is beautiful Beulah Cave Pools, about 20 minutes from Apia City. Now if you ever want to find the freshest waters in Samoa, you have to come visit the village of Luffy Luffy and find the Beulah Cave Pools. Isn't it beautiful? Definitely my highlight. The water was so clean, I felt like I was getting baptised all over again. Hallelujah! It's located under a Methodist church, so it's not the place to be lay muffs. Thank you very much. A few caves you can swim through and fresh clean water. And that's because of these bad boys that keep the water crystal clear. So if you need some fish for your oka, ha, ah, kidding, there's no fishing here sorry, and no diving, but come baptise your sins in the waters of Beulah, Manuna. Oh Beulah, stay beautiful. Moving along about 40 minutes up the coast and passing a few bobbies, we're off to check out some cool places to stay at to get a real taste of Samoa. And that's if you ain't got time to be burning in hotel rooms. A Samoan beach valley will be more your flavour. You haven't really had the Samoan experience unless you've stayed at a beach valley. I'm here at Lalomanu where they've got millions. So make sure you check it out if you want the ultimate experience. There's different kinds of beach valleys here. They've got flash ones for the flash people. What a flash guys? Nothing much. So here behind me, these are the flashier beach valleys. Um, they're kind of like the Hiltons of beach valleys. But if you're going for uh, the ultimate challenge, it's these ones. They use the tarpaulin to cover the walls at night and drape it up in the morning. Or if it rains, you can drop those down. Um, there's no walls, so you can't stick your Beyonce posters up there. But at least if there's a fire, you don't have to find the fire exit, you just jump out a window. Some of them have power and electricity if you want to charge your laptops or your phones or anything to play on, but who wants to play on those stuff when you got the beach? The beach is your friend, man. Welcome to paradise. They didn't call it the heart of Polynesia for nothing. And further up the road, you'll find some more traditional style beach valleys. Uh, the beach valley here is a little bit more traditional, made from natural fibers from the soils of Samoa. You've got the shutters that are made out of coconut leaves, and the roof is made out of the same stuff as well. This is something I'd prefer. Pros and cons, they're not as flash as the other ones that we saw, which had walls and aircon. There's no mirrors, can't look at yourself in the mirror. The pros of it is that you get a more peaceful vibe here, the beach literally on your feet. And yeah, it's more kickback here. 
So after a relaxing time by the waters, we're heading back to A City to hang. So usually when I go overseas, I make sure I check out all the malls and do a bit of shopping for the family back at home. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to go check out their Westfield. This is pretty much the Westfield of up here. They even got entertainment. Yeah. I love it here. So this is to smack the children. Oh what? Cricket facts. So this is to smack the crickets. All right, feeling a bit hungry, games. Kick it why anyone have to. Are you guys the most popular Kick it station? Oh yeah. Yeah. This is the pasta. Do you have a secret ingredient? <laughs> <laughs> it's a pork bun, but this is actually mamoy, which is lamb. And sometimes you can find chicken ones here. I'm going to have a bite. Oh wow, this is deep fried kekepua or in Samoan, kekepua for life. This looks really amazing. Made with love. If food is made with love, it's better than being made healthy. Love will keep us alive. I'm gonna go walk around the market to burn it off. Some pretty cool shirts. Find me one for church. Hi. This is my cousin Hazel. How much are your shirts? Um, the shirts are they're seventy. Seventy tala for beautiful alotas. But since we're gassons, hook it up, girl. So we couldn't fit the greatness of Samoa all in one part, so make sure you check out the coconut.tv and catch part two of Travel Tips in Samoa, where I'm doing some pretty epic things, like life insurance much. So fast for some more shoes!